what's going on traders uh, today we're going to be going over the Optima trade entry and their pair for this is uh, AUD USD so let's give it a breakdown all right so um, we're looking at the move here on the five minute I'm, I got a couple of other slides so I'm gonna go over as far as like the one minute and uh, another high time frame that gives the overall re re uh, review of it so as we can see here the move is I didn't mean to put that one there but from this swing low uh, swing high to the 62 percent again this session break that I have here that said coloring is from 830 to 11 so around this move is as prices you can see the candle coming back into um, uh, uh, close to uh, around maybe 915 and prices uh, near our entry here at the uh, at the blue optimum trade entry uh, which is 62 percent stop would be ideally below this first low here about five pips uh, you can put it here or, or you can for even more safer measure you add five pips below it uh, now we got some more smart uh, money concept terminology uh, here so basically uh, we had a break in market structure um, the market shifted did not create a lower low and then um, as price came up for this day it broke this recent swing high with this strong candle came back into our entry here at the optimal trade entry at 62 percent so we're going to go down to uh, the one minute okay so like I said in my previous video where I was explaining the optimal trade entry for the first time is that I like to use the one minute to uh, see more data so um, here uh, you can see easily see the uh, the, the target um, target equal highs of buy side liquidity. You can easily see how price is just uh, in the same area here, as far as like equal equal uh, highs here in this area. So this is the market is going to want to come back up to this area and uh, target this pool of liquidity. Okay, so um, now as I'm seeing, as price is not going below our entry here up to 62%. The optimal trading entry is around 9:30, 9:40. You can see down here. I have my uh, time set to uh, to um, to use the 12 hours. So uh, you can see down here, this price is coming up. Uh, did not go any lower. Came back. Not go any lower. And as I'm seeing this, I'm going to be uh, getting uh, more excited because uh, at this point, I probably would have if I have an enter on the blue, I definitely would have been entering off at least one of these last three candles here. And my target would immediately be, uh, for one, it's a swing low, one, one, two, three, but off this, off the, uh, by side liquidity, now I would have been extra more, even extra more confident of the target, this first one, just, just based off seeing the price action of how we have the equal highs here. So let's go on a higher time frame. It's not really a higher time frame, but it's more. You can see more data on the 10 minute. So this is the overall day. You see the day uh, session day breakers. Uh, we have the high of the day here, so it's going to be bounce outs above here. Uh, then we had this swing here, swing high here that happened around line session. This this is the uh, the coloring for the line session, which is from two to five. So line created a high. Uh, came out we had our most recent uh again like i said before this is our most recent high before the market broke up came back down to our entry uh price pulls away this is uh 15 pips with no drawdown which is insane so if you're using 10 dollars a pip this is 150 50 dollars uh, that's great for me that's good money so i you know making that in a day is awesome and then if you had a hell to target the high of the day this is another, like I said, another form of buy side liquidity. Uh, you would have held that would have been $280 if you're using a standard. And it all happens, you know, not in less than two hours, you know, of just $280 an hour uh, in two hours is, is pretty insane. Okay, so, uh, you know, this is a great strategy to optimal trade and entry. Um, it goes great when you use market contacts with it. You know, you, you, you combine in the smart money concepts as far as like liquidity, uh, seeing moves like the shifting in the market for the day, you know, uh, 
uh, you can't if you if you're gonna trade the strategy it's best to learn the other smart money concept uh, terminologies and understanding buy side and sell side liquidity and how uh, prices are gonna generally want to generally want to uh, navigate towards those pools of liquidity because that's the, really the key before any uh, price delivery uh, algorithm um, yeah pr yeah PDA array we're just gonna call it PDA array which is what Mr. Uh, ICT says himself if you use any PDA array it's best to understand where the market is likely to go because the uh, understanding is that the market is indeed ran by an algorithm and it's most likely is going to do a, a one or two things is going to target liquidity or it's going to target an imbalance and and actually if you look in here this is uh from yeah from this wick here to i think yeah this wick no this wick here this is a form of imbalance so from here you know this is only been buying and so once price came in uh went 50 percent of this this is in line with our move so it's just those things like that that you gotta you want to uh study more ict and smart money concept uh, terminologies and then you want to combine it with this strategy and it then becomes a great overall strategy okay so um i'm going to be posting more of these uh moves and I, I plan to get a video out with me taking it uh live and you know speeding up that video uh or something like that in the near future okay so i'll see you guys on the next video